Today we're off to Southampton to visit the boat show. I know that this is anathema to many people, but I quite like the birds. I, I enjoy finding out what's new and I absolutely love looking around boats. So here are the things we liked, some of the things we hated, and quite a lot we're just not sure uh, yes, about. It's a full-on retail extravaganza as soon as you enter. So if you don't actually want to go shopping, you have to fight your way through the melee to find some boats. But once through, we like that there is still room for some small sailing boats. Some lovingly crafted in traditional ways from wood, others in more modern materials. But all great to examine for design ideas and inspiration. One of the boats that's been here for the last couple of years, and I'd hurried past, is this Tamarisk 19 from On the Marine. In many ways it's very similar to our Shrimper, uh, but with a design that predates it. I'm glad I stopped to look at it this year. Not so impressed with the way ribs seem to be getting bigger and bigger each year, some now well over 30 feet, and in increasingly bizarre designs. Don't know who's buying these things. We do like the pace at which electric propulsion systems are developing. Designs are becoming more modular with features like hydro regeneration creeping in. I still think I'm a long way from giving up the petrol, but I can see it coming. Look, I know I'm old and miserable, but I'm simply not a fan of jet skis. As far as I'm concerned, they are the wasps to my sailing picnic. What I am a fan of is swallow yachts. I used to own a Matt Newland designed Storm 15 back then when they were swallow boats. Today I want to take a close look at their Bay Cruiser 23. Looks wise she is very much in the spirit of tradition but with modern materials and many of Matt Newland's innovative design features. I like the water ballast, lifting outboard design that's mounted yes. inboard and on the centre line, yeah. Her carbon fibre rig and open plan cabin. The build quality looks really good too. I might have to investigate this one further. Now, this is the first spirit yacht I have seen in the flesh and I can tell you that it is every bit as impressive as the videos you've undoubtedly seen. It's utterly beautiful. It's also mind-numbingly expensive. I did think about joining the long queue to go on board and view the interior but decided instead to pursue more attainable dreams. On the way we pass some of the more bizarre craft in the show, this one appears to be a personal landing craft for your motocross bike. I can't imagine what problem it's solving, but I'm sure if you need it, it's fabulous. The seats on that rib just look frightening. Military spec fishing boat. This year there seems to be an obsession with huge outboard engines. This boat has a mere 900 horsepower. 
and we were amused by the large rear window in the main cabin that allows you to gaze upon them as you fall asleep. Now we do like innovative hull designs and there are plenty to look at this year. Although I'm not sure about the windows on that one. Spearheading this trend, and pun was absolutely intended there, is the Sunbeam 32.1. It's a design that divides opinion, but personally I think it looks great. It's billed as the ultimate day sailor and we love the ergonomics of the cockpit and the clean open plan interior. Yeah, that's uh, 62 grand in VAT. Yeah. Well, it's carbon, isn't it, as well? Yeah, yeah. Now, clearly, space is always a premium on board, and some boats, particularly large catamarans, have reached for the skies to solve it. But recently, some of the more flamboyant gym palaces have started to increase floor area by designing in fold-down sections, a bit like fold-down bathing platforms on a sailing yacht, but in this case, coming out sideways and there to increase your patio area. This, of course, adds a lot of weight and complexity to your boat and simply means you need a bigger engine to get in there. So if your desire is just to have a floating platform on which to enjoy the view, then why not throw away all pretense of actually wanting a boat and go for this, an American style floating dock. This one appears to be simply a raft on board a couple of buoyancy tanks, onto which a sumptuous party deck has been built. And to get it to move around they've built it on a 300 horsepower V8 outboard. This one's not for me. You want to bring him out horizontally because it's much more comfortable to walk out that way. Um, and in natural fact, if you could do it, we need to be right here to push him out. Push him out with your foot. We joined a large crowd of people to watch a grown man jump in with a life jacket, then pretend to be unconscious and get lifted back on board by this young lady. It was all enthusiastically narrated by the inventor of the device. But to be honest, it turned out to be weirdly entertaining. And you can see, he will get caught. Everything there, that's what he's going to get caught now. And if you just, just push it now, that's it. Well done. Now, I need to come here because what happens is we get them out, they swing round, they clout their head on the. There was, of course, the more usual conventional plastic fantastic cruising boats, uh, all very enjoyable to clamber over. And we marvelled at this foiling electric speedboat. Did I buy one of those? No, but I did buy two things, uh, a new dry bag to replace my old one, but more interestingly, a copy of Yachting Monthly from 1938. Now it's actually a Christmas present for my dad, so don't tell him, uh, but in it is a review of the Earl's Court boat show from the, that year. And to be honest, the format doesn't seem to have changed much in the best part of a hundred years. There are adverts for the newest and latest technology like uh, a Marconi ship to shore radio that looks like it weighs a ton. There's also an advert um, offering to build to order a 32 foot family cruising yacht for the princely sum of £349. For an extra tenner they'll throw in a hand built clinker dinghy as a tender. Anyway, I'm off, to, I'm off back to Swallow Yachts I think to organise a test sail on that bay cruiser. As ever, many thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for some actual real sailing adventures.